Palace, Honolulu, Oahu, Hawaii, USA. The Iolani Palace, also known as Hale Oleolani, was the official palace of the monarchs of the Kingdom of Hawaii from Kenahameha III, 1845, through Queen Lilu Okaleni, 1893, of the Kaukawa Dynasty, which was established by her brother, King David Kaukawa. It is situated in the Hawaiian state capital's downtown Honolulu area. On the National Register of Historic Places, it is currently designated as a National Historic Landmark. The structure served as the capital of the Provisional Government, Republic, Territory, and State of Hawaii when the monarchy was toppled in 1893 and remained in use until 1969. The palace was restored and opened to the public as a museum in 1978. Iolani Palace is the only royal palace on U.S. soil. Early History The location of Iolani Palace was close to Pohukaina, an old burial ground, towards the beginning of the 19th century. It's thought to be the name of a chief who, in accordance with folklore, decided to rest in a cave in Kanaholani, a region of the Kulo Range. Kikaluoe, who later served as Kimhina Nui, was the rightful owner of the property. Together with her husband Charles Kanina, she resided there. Just west of Kikaluoe's residence was the residence of Kekano, a chief who served as the governor of Oahu. The royal chamberlain and other members of the house of Kenameha resided in Gahale, where another chief, Kioni Ana, also resided. The original residence of Kikuluoli and Kaneino was comparable to the other estates in the area, consisting of tiny buildings utilized for various purposes. A folding door entry made of green painted wood with glass upper panels led into the sitting and sleeping room. The house had two rooms, each with its own carpeted makalo mat and was divided by a decorated tent entrance made of chintz fabric. A sitting space with a sideboard and mirror was located at the front. They positioned a semicircle of armchairs in the middle, with a table in the middle where the pair would write. Silk scarves were hung from each of the four glass doored matching cabinet bookcases that were placed in each corner of the space. Tomb Pokeina served as the alias, the ruling elite, sacred burial ground. After 1825, the first royal mausoleum in the Western style was built to house the remains of King Kamamea II and his spouse Kamala. The burial took place on August 23, 1825. The tombs at Westminster Abbey during Kamehameha II's visit to London had a significant influence on the concept. The tomb was a little structure with a thatched roof made of coral block. There were no windows and two chiefs were tasked with keeping watch over the iron-locked Kodor day and night. Except for burials and Memorial Day, a Hawaiian festival observed on December 30, no one was permitted to enter the vault. Other leaders and retainers were interred in adjoining unmarked graves as the little vault filled up over time as additional dead were added. Twenty coffins were chosen and transported in 1865 to the Nuuanu Valley's Mauna Ala, the Royal Mausoleum of Hawaii. But many chiefs, like as Kulkika the Aliokamoku, Kalenio Pu, Chief as Kepialani, and Timothy Halilio, are still present at Poakaina. Hail Ali! Kikanoa started construction on a sizable house in July 1844 on the site of the present palace as a present for his daughter Victoria Kamalu. Instead, after shifting the kingdom's capital from Lane to Honolulu, Kemahameha III bought the estate and lived there as a monarch. The Iolani Palace would emerge from it. The territories were passed down and concentrated into fewer hands as older Oli died. Kikulu Ohai received the lands from the Kamehameha family as a gift. However, Lunalilo predeceased his father. Thus, she left her son, not her husband Kanena, the amassed lands and fortune. The house Kekano constructed was a wood and stone structure known as Hale Ali, which is Hawaiian for House of the Chiefs. Its floor area was only one-third that of the current palace. Longtime royal governor of Oahu and spouse of Nao, Kanameha, his daughter, was Matayo Kekano. For his daughter Princess Victoria Kamalu, who was destined to govern in some way from birth, he constructed the large home. When King Kamehameha III transferred his capital from Lahaina to Honolulu in 1845, he bought it from Kamalu, the king's niece. The name changed to Iolani Palace. 
in honor of his brother Kamehameha IV, whose full name was Alexander Liholio Kawinui Aolani. Hail Eli was renamed to Aolani Palace during Kamehameha V's rule. It is talking about the Ayo, royal hawk. During the reigns of Kamehameha III, Kamehameha IV, Kamehameha V, Lunalilo, and the early part of Kalkawa, the palace functioned as the monarch's formal residence. Even though the original building's architecture was quite straightforward, and it resembled a stately home more than a palace, it was the most opulent residence in the area at the time. The palace was mostly used for hosting state occasions and hosting foreign dignitaries, while the monarch preferred to sleep in private dwellings. Kalakaua's Iolani Palace By the time David Kalakaua assumed the throne, the original Iolani Palace was in poor condition, suffering from ground termite damage. He ordered the old palace to be raised. Kalakaua was the first monarch to travel around the world, and like Kenamea V, he dreamed of a royal palace befitting the monarch of a modern state. While visiting Europe, Kalakaua took note of the customs and traditions practiced by his contemporaries, and he decided that incorporating their elements would help legitimize his kingdom through their eyes. This included the building of a new palace inspired by these European grand palaces. Thus, he commissioned the construction of a new Iolani Palace, directly across the street from Aliolani Hale, to become the official palace of the Hawaiian monarchy. Design and Construction Thomas J. Baker, Charles J. Wall, and Isaac Moore, three architects, all contributed to the design. Baker created the structure, while Wall and Moore provided further embellishments. On December 31, 1879, the cornerstone was placed under the tenure of Samuel Gardner Welder, the interior minister. It was made of brick with a face of the concrete. The structure, which cost over $340,000 and would be worth $9,546,966 in 2021 currency, was finished in November 1882. It is roughly 140 feet, 43 meters by 100 feet, 30 meters in size and rises two floors or 54 feet, 16 meters over a raised basement. It features two in the middle and two corner towers that reach a height of 76 feet, 23 meters. Despite Kalkawa's nine-year reign, a full European-style coronation ceremony was staged on February 12 of that year. Later moved to the southwest part of the grounds, the Coronation Pavilion formerly known as Kalipomi Hale was transformed into a bandstand for the Royal Hawaiian Band. Iolani Palace has unique architecture that has never been seen before. This distinctive design is called American Florentine. A magnificent hall and a co-wood staircase are both located on the first floor. The inside is decorated with ornamental plaster. The dining room next to the hall, the blue meeting room, and the throne chamber at southeast corner. The blue chamber included a big 1848 painting of French King Louis Philip and a co-wood piano, where Lily Okalani entertained visitors with her compositions. The Hawaiian monarch's private library and bedrooms are located upstairs. The palace is the only official state residence of royalty on U.S. soil. Palace Restoration Iolani Palace underwent an internal renovation in 1930, replacing its wood structure with steel and reinforced concrete. In 1935, the Iolani Palace was formally renovated. It functioned as the military governor in charge of martial law in the Hawaiian Islands' temporary headquarters during World War II. The 442nd Infantry Regiment's Corps was made up of Hawaiian soldiers with Japanese ancestry who had been accepted for service in the U.S. Army. They were sworn in during a large ceremony on the palace grounds before departing for training on the mainland. The palace deteriorated throughout the course of more than 70 years as a viable but neglected government structure. Governor John A. Burns started work on the palace's restoration in the 1960s when Hawaii gained statehood. The former Idolani barrack structure was initially relocated from its original location northeast of the palace. It presently acts as the palace's visitor center. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel before you go.